<laughs> All right, let's go to the uh, questions from the Internet. Uh, this is for you, Dana. On your radio show, you liken negotiating with health reform advocates. Oh, yes, I saw this, to negotiating mm -hmm. with terrorists. Oh, I knew this was come up. I, and I didn't bring it up on the sh right. show for because, right. you know what, uh, I don't think you really think that health care reform advocates are terrorists. In the no, same and that's sense. not what I said. I was talking about when you you're, when you're if you're holding something like ransom, if you're like in, in if you are it, the tactics that you do, you're holding specific things ransom in order to get something else. I mean, come on, aren't conservatives always chided as oh you guys don't have a sense of humor or but when you say something that has like any little bit of facetiousness in it, people get their britches in a twist and they completely lose all sense of humor. So whatever. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with this, but no, I, that's, I, I, in the context of my I, radio I, show, okay. I was to, they, yeah, okay. specifically it was oh, so there was a joke and you right. Kathleen Sebelius yeah, and the 150 yeah. billion I, I, and the well, health control bill and all of that and that's what I, I was talking about. I am totally with you that this country loves to just play gotcha. Right, you right. said a word that pushed our button and the hamsters hit the pedal and right. you know it's just you know. Everyone always has to go away or apologize. I mean, this is one thing. I heard you were defending Charlie Sheen. Yeah. And okay. like him, that's really weird. You Why really... is that weird? Do Why just... is that weird? It's like, it makes I me mean, think it's... you just want to be wrong about everything. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> it does. No. What? No, 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 no. Why, why, is, why does a conservative like a, a, a do I not fit falling into the apart stereotype? drug addict living is? with whores okay, and waving all, a machete? I'm not, what I'm about not that? defending the, like, whoredom, and I'm not defending the drug. I, it really, I think it's kind of sad when you look at it, because I think that he's, something's well, obviously you, not you, clicking. What do you like? But the fact that he went balls to the wall and says what he thinks and embraces exceptionalism and was like, yeah, I'm a rock star from Mars. You know I'm what? famous. First of all, I make let me tell you money. why he's not Woo! a... He's not a rock. Let me tell you why he's not a rock star. One, he's on a lousy sitcom. Okay, that's I made that point last week. It's a lame sitcom. You're not a rock star from Mars when you're on CBS. Hey. Okay. Two. You guys. Okay. You guys can talk about your professional. You know. Rock stars. A. The girls they have are cuter. You don't have to pay them, and you don't have to brag about them. Wow. That's what Maybe a rock that's what star he wants is. to do. Maybe that's what I, I just like that he's yeah, being uh, honest with what he thinks and he doesn't he engage being, in political so what? correctness. I what, like that. What is that the honest? Because that's what everybody does. Okay. Gaddafi's honest. Hitler was honest. You know, I mean, the honest is if you're honest about something stupid, that doesn't make it a great it's virtue. It's funny. I think it's funny. It's funny. I agree with you. It's funny. And but I wouldn't say, applaud you know him what? for I, exceptionalism. No, no, no. Well, did I say I applauded? You did. You said you liked him for his balls. I like that. Yeah, I like that he. Um, he's like, you know what? I turn tin cans to gold. I bring millions of dollars into this into this network. I, you know, make all this money. It's he's well, one of the highest. The the no, it's well, isn't that the, about, the measure? I'm not a Republican, first of all. Don't call I, me a Republican. Oh no, nothing about. Uh, no offense. Republican. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's move on. Um, why does everyone talk about the def the deficit like it's the most important thing happening? Well, it's because, pretty important. Be, be, yeah. <laughs> I mean, because it's very they, important. Yeah, when they quit buying our bonds, yeah, we, interest <laughs> rates go up, people won't be able to get credit, and the economy crashes. Yeah, I, I, heard, Otherwise, I heard Erskine Bowles and Alan Simpson this week saying, we've got two years. We've got two years before China. Now, I think that's actually We don't know. It's, a mar it's, a, it's when yeah. the markets react, but sure. they've, they've reacted to Greece, they've gone to Portugal. It, it, and, and our situation's not much different than some of these countries in trouble. And we're, it's getting worse as the baby boomers retire and go into these entitlement but, programs. We've got to have a serious conversation what, about what, it. What, what gets me, I tried to raise on the show earlier. I worked for the president to balance the budget. I have a copy of it at no, home. I was in I got Congress that worked with him to I balance the budget. That. We and did when, it together. When, get, go, go get your old copy out of the 1999 budget. Open it up, and it says, we are building surpluses so vast that deep into the future, 2009, we'll have zero national debt. Okay, I handed that off to Karl Rove when George W. Bush became president. And they reversed it so deeply with this, tax cuts for the rich, two wars on the national credit card, and giveaways to uh, corporations like oil companies and pharmaceutical firms. That's what did it. They didn't spend a bunch of money on Head Start. Actually, they, and it was a $6 trillion was reversal time. Actually, Medicare Part D helped along the way. Is, Which right. was a Bush it, 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 prescription right. entitlement well, that the, benefited the Democratic plan was, was even worse. But in, in addition to that, the economy crashed. When he took office, we were going into a recession at the end of the well, administration. The, if you repealed the Bush tax cuts alone, alone, 
it would solve as much of the debt problem as the right. entire Bull Simpson Commission, which is a very painful, very serious, we may have to do some of those things. But that's so why all the, the tax cuts. Why right? is the responsibility of, of taxpaying citizens to shore up uh, politicians who keep spending money that, doesn't, that isn't there? They well, cut well, they... the taxes. We tax, we tax at 15% of our GDP oh. right now. 15. Oh. Under Clinton, we tax That's not the government's money. You realize that. 46 percent of house. Working, that's their cash. Yes, and their it's their cash debt money. too that George W. Bush ran up. I don't understand oh. why all of a sudden you think it's like our money, but it's not our debt. It's our country. No. I'd also have a little more it's sympathy a, for tax-paying citizens if they had a clue what was going on with their taxes, but they don't. Well, the tax code is ridiculous. 46 percent of households pay no federal income tax. Right. right. Income tax. They pay, pay excise taxes. They pay payroll well, taxes. They don't pay the income taxes, tax, which is the main bulk of taxes. Plus, they're completely schizophrenic. They is, when you ask them the general question, should we solve the deficit? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Should we stop spending? Yes. What should we cut? Nothing. Right. They don't yeah, want to cut right. anything. Exactly. They want to cut foreign aid, cuts. which you they think to. is like half the budget, which is the sprig of parsley on the plate. That's what they want to cut. They don't want to take anything away from the mashed potatoes, the fried chicken, or the macaroni. The political leaders don't want to address it either. Right. But can you blame them? Because they're not getting pressure from the people. Your precious taxpayers are idiots. That's the problem. No, you know no, no, we are? No. We are, I think we are theoretical conservatives and operational liberals. So you say, right. cut the spending, everybody goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Nobody at a Tea Party rally ever held up a, 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 and burned their Medicare card. Right. Right? Nobody ever said, it's socialized medicine, well, can't I, yeah. no, I think They the, all want The Tea Party groups, well, uh, no, uh, you, you go through it, really have a bullseye on the entitlements. I think they understand the, the situation. The worst thing is, Bill, is how do we spend our money? We talked about this before. It's on retirees. It's not investments in the future. Right. It's not the way to win in a global economy. But, they, you know, they want the Swedish welfare state on the Arizona tax base. That's right. And, and that's just <laughs> never going to happen. Thank you very much, panel. Thank you, audience. Pleasure. We will see you back here next week.